Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we're doing an open reading. Um, we don't know what's going to come out during the reading, what topic is going to come out and this way we leave it open to see what you need to hear right now. And to do this reading, these are the three piles for you here today. Uh, let me introduce the crystals to you. So for pile number one, you have the beautiful Labrador Labradorite. I hope it is picking up. I, I did see it picking up on camera a moment ago. Yeah, there we go. For pile number two, you have the beautiful tiger's eye. And for pile number three, you have the beautiful golden new might. And let me make sure you can see it well. I hope I was able to do it justice on camera. So take a look at which one, of, which one of these three decks or three crystals you're the most drawn to and this or these will be the reading for you here today. As I always encourage you, in case you feel drawn to more than one pile, maybe even all of the piles, trust your intuition. It is your guiding light that will always guide you to the readings you're meant to hear, whether it's just one, uh, several or maybe even all. And as usual, once you're ready, please head down to the description box, click on your timestamps, and I will see you in your readings. In a moment, I'm about to assign different zodiac signs to each pile. If this is something that you do not prefer, then please pause the video, take as much time as you need, and as I mentioned, I will see you in your reading. But if you prefer to pick your reading, uh, using your zodiac signs, then my dear soul family, this section has been created specifically for you. So what I have here are 12 zodiac signs, which I shuffle around. And today we'll be, of course, picking four different zodiac signs for each pile. So let's get straight into it. And let me pick the first four. So for pile number one, the signs are Aquarius. I feel this one. Libra. Ah, these fell, so I'm going to take them next. Taurus. And Sagittarius. For pile number two, the signs are Virgo. Gemini. I feel this one, I'm holding these two. Cancer and Capricorn. As for pile number four, the signs are Aries, Scorpio, Leo, and of course, Pisces. So, my dear soul family, these are the signs and how they are associated with each pile. Please feel free to choose your piles using your rising sun and moon. I highly recommend you check out the three, but it is, of course, all up to you. Uh, if you're wondering, so which one of these three should I pick? Should I go by my sun, by moon, by my rising? I highly recommend in that case you go with your rising sign. Uh, it is, you know really um, tempting to go by the sun. And if you feel cold to it, please go by your sun. Of course. I mean, I am I say that and I'm tempted to go by my sun a lot of the times <laughs> when watching other readings. So please do what you feel is right. But what I was about to say was, you know, 
if you're not like going feeling anything and you're really wondering i highly recommend you check out your rising it deals with your outermost world and you'll likely find that it is the one that will resonate with you the most this is something that i've learned from uh, uh, the astrologers so my dear soul family once you're ready taking a look at your decks your uh, crystals and your zodiac signs please head down to the description box Click on your timestamps and I will see you in your readings. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. You were drawn to the beautiful labradorite crystal. And today, I, I really feel this one. And then this one's dropping. So I'm going to take these two. So today, we're taking a look at um, what your cards want to show you. It is an open reading on what you are meant to hear right now. So there's no specific topic to today's reading. And these are the cards that we will be using. If you've picked your pile using your zodiac sign, then in that case, the signs for this reading are Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, and Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading, guys. If these are not your zodiac signs, like I always remind you, please do not worry about it. And do note that they are present in your reading because their energies will be matching the energy of the reading itself. All right, so last card to pick from is the chakra card. And we have your chakra card ready. Right, so let's check what, what's up in today's reading. So you have the earth pig with surrender to the moment. Okay. Right. How interesting. Okay. You also have Fire Ox, a beacon of light. Hmm. Doesn't it look like the light uh, of the candle here? Same width, same diameter, like in terms of the picture. It really does remind me of the candle, especially that it says a beacon of light. And look where it's uh, landing as well. So that's very interesting. I feel like it's a time of change for you because this is a number five and the six and the three is a nine, which is an ending. So an ending and a change. Let's keep them here for now. And then take a look at the rest of your cards. You have romantic. Um, okay. Let's keep it there. And you have maiden hair fern so it says will be very happy in a bathroom loves the moist air and bright indirect sunlight maiden hair fern so this if we translate the card in tarot this i guess would be the knight knight of pentacles okay And you have with the throat chakra impatience. Okay, very interesting combination of cards. I think the only way we'll understand what this message is clearly is to, of course, take a look at your tarot cards. These two were popping out, so let's take them as well as these and this one to see exactly what it is that you are meant to hear right now. Uh, there we go. So, my dear pile number one, your cards are the lover's card. It's interesting how this is lining up. Okay. You have eight of cups. Look at that. That's a hazard. All right. Eight of cups. You have the Six of Wands. 
the Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, hmm. the World card, Judgment, Knight of Pentacles, the Death card. Guys, I, I, as I was laying the cards here on the table, I have been totally channeling somebody's life here. I think it's somebody's next, like uh, what's happening next in their lives because I'm putting the cards, I'm looking at them and looking at their meanings and I'm just, there's this movie playing in my mind as I'm putting out the cards. I haven't read them yet, but I will share the type of movie that I'm seeing here. This is definitely talking about your life and it involves a huge part of romance and family as well as work in what I've envisioned here. So if you are not mm, interested in watching a reading about love and family as part of your coming life, I highly um, suggest you take a look into another pile. I even heard a pick by your uh, uh, star sign. If you want, this is all up to you. As I was saying to pick an, uh, another sign, I, I envisioned the star signs and I heard the word pick. So maybe you want to pick another star sign. But in any case, this reading has definitely been giving me visions as I was putting the cards. I don't know why, but I saw the people of this pile being in a, a relationship I saw you in the living room with family. I saw you with your significant other, someone who's very loving, would protect you at all costs or like very loyal to you. I saw you watching the news. I saw you working hard or your partner working hard in an office. Uh, uh, yeah, this is where I saw the news. I'm just like, oh, I saw you giving birth, of course. Like I saw a whole family situation as I was looking at the cards and laying them down on the table. So perhaps your reading is talking to you about um, a new beginning in your life, no matter where you are at in life. Maybe you're just starting off and you're meeting someone who is going to be the love of your life, who will propose to you and there's going to be this cozy, uh, atmosphere between the two of you where you create a family together or maybe you're already in a relationship uh, maybe you haven't given birth and there's children coming and that will make the home very cozy um or maybe this you're already in the situation there are more messages coming up with uh, regards to that but that's definitely what i'm channeling here when i see like in my mind when i see clear visions like that i really can tell that there's that that I can't go astray from what I'm seeing in this reading. So yeah, looks like this coming period of your life is going to be pretty warm. Yeah, you know, this moist air reminds me of the warmth of the people around you. Uh, I, I, I do see you being next in a very cozy environment, surrounded by, by people you love, a, a cozy, loving family watching the news, watching entertainment, and generally, generally enjoying um, living the moment, enjoying the pleasures of life. It does look like to me that next you will be indulging in the, on the bright side of life. Like life will be giving you its uh, prosperous side, I really feel like you're going to be happy in this next um, life, in this next uh, phase of your life. You know, it's like seeing the light on Merry Christmas. It's like not, you know, the nice feelings we get during the holidays, a break from work and we meet the people we love. I feel like this is a life where it's an extension of that feeling throughout uh, maybe even until the rest of your life. Also, a part of your life is focused on work. There is 
a great emphasis on your throat chakra. You will be working hard, but you will be using your throat chakra a lot. Although there is a, like um, a spreadsheet here, seeing this card in conjunction to um, the throat chakra, I feel like you will be communicating a lot. Uh, you'll be using your throat chakra a lot, expression, in terms of expression. Maybe you will be a writer. Maybe a lot of you will be writers. Maybe, um, or maybe you will be speakers, of course. But somehow I get this feeling that you'll be working on the computer, writing something, and you will be working hard. Uh, please don't take that extra detail like uh, uh, as what's going to happen. It is a general reading. Uh, it, the throat chakra for you could be used in a totally different way than uh, someone else watching this reading. It's just an extra detail that I noticed. With the world card, maybe all of you will actually be seen all around like a lot of people will know about you a lot of people will hear about your work maybe there are a, a big deals coming coming up for you uh, with your throat chakra you know you could be maybe maybe some of you are going to be a news reporter you know that perhaps where the news is coming from but there is a great emphasis coming up next on your throat maybe you're going to be in entertainment maybe you're going to be working in the news or maybe you, you are going to use your throat chakra in your work. And that maybe your work doesn't always, um, isn't always about the throat chakra. But maybe uh, your company is working on a specific project and everybody's going to hear about it. You know what I mean? So there is, of course, a great element of throat chakra uh, in your work specifically up next in your life. Hmm. I see you having fun working, although you're going to be working hard and maybe you'll have different things in your life, but I see you pretty organized because I, I see this person, you know, eating well, well, it is cake, but that's how I saw it first <laughs> eating well, their life is organized, they're working the tasks are done because there is a tick. I, I get the sense that next in your life, there you're you're um, you're handling many things at the same time. You're 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 being in a loving relationship. Maybe you're taking care of your family. Maybe you have some goals that you're working towards and you're succeeding in them. And you have your important work. And it looks uh, like you're taking it slow with the Knight of Pentacles. You know. Slow equals fast. I do remember we talked about that in another reading. Slow equals fast. I, I if you've read, if you've been in this pile, then you know. <laughs> but in all cases, Knight of Pentacles, you're taking it slow. This person is whistling, and that's allowing you to move fast. I see that with the daily mission. It's like you have your life organized. You're like, I'll do this for uh, my personal life. I'll do this for my work. I'll do this for taking care of myself and so on. And you're on top of your, your life. You're taking it easy and it's going very well. There's a coffee in the other person's hand. You get this idea that they're taking it easy and they have their uh, goals met. Really cool pile number one, indeed. Hmm. There is a high emphasis on being surrounded by someone or people that really love you and would really go the mile for you sometimes up to a point where you're like can't you see the gesture here it's like no don't do that <laughs> so it's like yeah, yeah you have the what the card is trying to say is you will have people who are there for you through the thin and the thick and eight of cups also talks about uh, leaving something, departing from something. So maybe your cards are talking about you experiencing a different life. Maybe you are now leaving one world and slowly entering into the next one. You'll be making choices, big choices up next in your life, especially with the lover's card and the eight of cups. It is a card of choice. I do see you making choice, choices that may not be easy but 
your soul recognizes that it is the right direction for you to go. And you'll be really celebrating yourself and clapping for the big, ma major big decisions that you will be taking. They may not have been easy, but they will help you with the Eight of Pentacles. Master uh, old, maybe weaknesses. I say weaknesses because there is a lot of um, dessert here. So it reminds me of having a sweet tooth as a weakness, you know? So maybe you're de leaving behind a lot of weaknesses and you're mastering, you know, doing things maybe in moderation or you're mastering, you know, self-discipline in doing the right thing for you. It's not like you're abandoning something completely, but you've mastered how to do things properly. Abandoning what wasn't right for you, making better choices in your life and being proud of how you're succeeding and mastering these new decisions that you have taken. Let's talk about your love life here because this is like a big deal here and we haven't spoken about it yet. We've done a whole disclaimer in the beginning. <laughs> we haven't talked about it. We haven't spoken about it yet. So if you are single, do note that coming next in your life, especially that you have knights here. How many knights? Knight of Wands and I did see another knight. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there's a strong offer coming up for you. Like, I do see someone vocalizing their feelings for you, uh, asking you out. And I do see that this connection is going to be very intimate. Why do I say that? Because there's the mention of the bathroom, right? Yes, the bathroom. <laughs> so, you know, it's an intimate place of the house, right? It's where you get your ultimate privacy. So there is someone that's coming into this very sacred, intimate part of your life, sharing, um, sharing a, an intimate space with you. I do see a sweet bond connecting, a warm, sweet, loving, family-like bond uh, happening with you and this person, I keep repeating, uh, this card keeps grabbing my attention, that this person, or maybe both of you will be very, mm, I want to say protective. I, uh, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. <laughs> very protective of each other. Like, uh, yeah, being there for each other through thick and thin. And I see you eating with each other every day. I see you doing activities, different activities with each other every day. What does that book say? Love? Hold on. Oh, interesting that I noticed that. When I looked closer, it says love forever. So I think this is a sweet connection that really will uh, win the test of time. Is that how we say it? Will t uh, stand the test of time. And there's no doubt about that in my mind because like I told you, it was so weird. I was putting your cards and suddenly like a, a movie started playing out, especially with every card as I start getting different visions with it. So yeah, uh, I see more home life, it seems, in the next chapter of your life. I see you indulging in the best that life has to give you. Uh, I see you experiencing the bright side of life, but I also see you working hard. Some of you might be in the entertainment business with a judgment card here. Also, <clears throat> maybe you are rising with the collective because with the throat chakra and the judgment, you're definitely helping rise something. Maybe some of you will be giving like the right news to people or some of you will be writing a book that will give the right information to people. Um, something like that. You will definitely be speaking honestly and you will be working hard and you will be um, getting a lot of worldwide deals coming up next for you. I'm not, I was going to say, I'm not sure why you got a prediction, but I just remembered, why am I saying that? It is an open reading <laughs> and it is what you're meant to hear, right? So, I believe these next three cards are your guidance. Since I was like, where's the guidance? Uh, it's not for me to decide. But since I remembered that all of a sudden, I think 
these next three cards will be your guidance unless we see otherwise i will keep in mind that this is an open reading so let's see what we get wow <laughs> you know what i got with that experiencing another world especially that it was just about to be put around the world card how did i miss that it does look like an airplane guys it looks like some of you will be experiencing different worlds up next and i'm happy i didn't like stick to the guidance it is also more predictions for you uh it looks like you'll be seeing new worlds that you have not experienced before live with people living different worlds that, uh, than where you are living and maybe even some of you may be living between two worlds maybe you'll be going back and forth visiting two places or something or several places and you have the two of swords And the six of cups some of you will be uh, reuniting this is important we'll get to it in a moment some of you will be reuniting oh okay some of you will be reuniting with old friends some of you will be re going back to places you were when you were children maybe you know you were you lived in a different state or country and you went somewhere else maybe you will be visiting uh, an old place and reuniting with older friends or an older place there's the six of cups like re re getting in touch back with memories be careful two of swords here is falling on the card of the lovers choices there are major choices for you coming next and you want to be careful because this card is giving me a bit of like worry vibes <laughs> of someone that has to take the right decision there's a big sale but you still see this person still still is worried i think if i would to guess what this person is going through looking at their computer screen they're going well this is a big sale should I grab it? I mean, that's like a good offer. Or am I doing the wrong thing when I know I shouldn't be spending? I think this, um, this is what this person is going through because there's worry and anxiousness as they're thinking about these sales. Or maybe they're thinking, oh, but this is on 80% discount and this is on 80% discount. They're both great. I have one budget. Which one should I go for? In all cases, the details don't matter. Uh, unless it resonates with you, of course. But I think the reading here is saying you'll be making major choices coming up next. Big choices in your life, I believe. You know, and I just heard compromise. Like, I'll tell you what I mean by that. It, it didn't mean compromise, like do something that's not right for you. It meant that you may, to experience both things that you want, uh, you might like let go of some things here and maybe someone else would let go of something here. Maybe this is talking about you and that person or you, you and your family. So in order to bring all of these things together, there may be some compromises that are going to be happening next in your life. So be open-minded to maybe make a few compromises and other people making a few compromises uh, but think about your choices very well because once you click on that buy button, it's done. Uh, sometimes some resellers are kind and you can, <laughs> you know, go back and say, hey, can I refund this? You know, but in all cases, well, it's, it's not the right thing to say kind. Some people just can't do it. But what I'm trying to say is, um, what I'm trying to say is, be careful with the decisions that you'll be making next. This is not a warning. This is just telling you to be careful. Because if you think about things very well, moving forward, you won't regret the decisions you've taken because you've put into consideration everything. You realize that these things are not going to happen at least now, or you might be losing this thing a little bit and so on in order for you to make all of the things you want happen in your life. And so thinking about them well will allow you to make the best situation out of 
bringing all these energies together. But if you do not think about it and you just say, okay, okay, uh, you might regret it later. So yeah, there are compromises from different sides or maybe compromises that you want to make, not for anyone else, for yourself. Uh, and it's about thinking very well before you click on that button or make that decision because um, thinking well will avoid you know regret any sort of regret later and also it will allow you to move forward being happy with the decisions you've taken because they are allowing these different energies to come together so that's what i'm seeing here with your cards all the best of luck on this next chapter of your life it feels very cozy it feels very warm it, it, it i see that all at the same time you're working on something very important so good luck with that i see you being very organized and chilling and taking life very slow i see like i said a lot of love and family very cozy family coming up in your life my dear pile number one this is exactly what i see in your open reading today i truly hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me a thumbs up Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And please don't forget to check out my productivity e-cookbook. It has 210 recipes that are healthy, delicious, and are cooked in a matter of minutes, giving you the rest of the day to do whatever you want to do. And it is so in alignment with what you're doing next. You might really want to check it out. Um, I did partner with a nutritionist that I really love and believe in. Uh, to be able to bring out this e-cookbook for you if you're vegan there is a vegan version and yeah having seen your reading i only just uh recommend it uh, seeing you know i i think it could really help you ma uh, organize your life in such a calm way you do not need that book whatsoever uh i'm just you know suggesting it could really help you out in, in that place and if you're interested in checking it out uh, you'll find the link to this eco book down in the description box. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your kind words every day. You have no idea how much I am um, filled with gratitude with your kind words and your support every single day. Love you guys, and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye! Hi, pile number two, welcome to your reading. You were drawn to the beautiful tiger's eye and today we're doing an open reading. We're taking a look at what it is that you need to hear right now without any specific topics or direction in mind at all. These are the decks that we will be using for your reading today. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, and Gemini. Welcome to your reading, guys. Um, these are your Oracle cards. I do want to pull out one last card from this deck. Let's go again. Okay, so I feel like it's this one. I'm going to take that. And let's see what you do have. If these are not your zodiac signs, please do not worry about it. And do note that they are present in your reading because their energies will be matching the energies of the reading itself. In case you feel like, oh, but I picked my pile with my intuition. These are not um, matching with my zodiac signs. That's okay. It's um, Consider it a detail. Just like the details that happen in the reading, sometimes I tell you guys, oh, someone's getting pregnant here, or maybe someone is getting their certificate, or maybe that part doesn't resonate, but the whole reading itself is definitely for you. You did pick it with your intuition, and um, it is your reading. Right, so let's take a look at your cards. You have the fire horse with effortless vitality. All right, so nice. Mm, ah, I'll keep it here. You have the throat chakra with vanity. You have crossing the threshold. Wow. So cool. I'm already seeing so many things from this card. Uh, I have a lot to tell you, but I think we're going to wait. 
this person coming towards us or no no they're they are crossing the threshold right you also have the root chakra with renewal lovely and ha you have the polka dot benonia or begonia so it says native to brazil enjoys bright indirect sunlight striking red uh, underside look it's coming next to the root chakra that must look beautiful um striking red undersides to the leaves lovely this is also the two of spades which in tarot would be the two of swords so very interesting how about we actually push this up a little bit we'll have space for this small card here that's really cool okay now let's take a look at your tarot cards cards and see what it is that you are meant to hear right now what is this reading today trying to show you why is it here for you today my dear pile number two okay last card you've got a lot of cards all right so my dear pile number two you have the knight of cups Mm, that's really nice because I just got a hint of something uh, and a great idea with this Knight of Cups. You have the Ace of Swords. Wow, you've got the Ten of Swords. Okay. You have the Five of Swords. Interesting. This is becoming clearer by the moment. I am so... Uh, impressed with how the story is forming here you have the temperance card i think i am learning a lot about your life at the moment you have the death card hmm. on the brinks of something you have the moon the king of swords so cool you have the ten of pentacles love that wow you have the chariot exactly <laughs> so nice okay actually you know if we push your cards just a little bit up we will have space for all these cards it's interesting your uh, pile got a lot of cards but we do have the space for them you have the star card love that okay i'm getting this for sure the justice card mm. the four of swords wonderful Six of Swords, guys, I have great news for you. And the Strength card. Congratulations. Why? Because this pile looks like they are going through... Okay, this is now becoming very interesting. They're, look, your pile looks like you're going through something that you can no longer bear with the Ten of Swords. I feel like you're thinking or feeling if i go through this one more time one more day one more second i don't know what's gonna happen this pile seems to be so sick of something or so beaten down by something nobody can beat you down but you know what i mean uh, or so bullied by something is is more like the word i'm looking for it's like maybe someone or something is making it very difficult making it very hard for you uh, to go through your life so maybe someone's literally bullying you or maybe your situation in life is bullying you or your economical situation or your work and how much you have to handle something or the other is like like becoming so hard and it's exaggerated even in this last period of your life and it exaggerated so much that you're like no 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 at this point i don't think i can pull through and on that's why i heard on the brinks here and so right on the brinks of where you thought or think oh my god it's going to go to an end like this is going to go from terrible to a nightmare life is going to come into balance how is that going to happen 
you are going to be offered something out of the blue, unexpected with the Knight of Cups, that you are going to love so much that you're going to cry. Do you see the Knight of Cups crying here? <laughs> that will uh, all of a sudden end the situation and open up a new bright, uh, a new bright doorway path for you that you did not expect especially with the moon card this looks to me like it's so mysterious at this point for you so mysterious you have no idea and i wouldn't blame you if you're listening to this and maybe even like questioning where is that going to come from it is so oblivious to you, but that's happening right next for you. And on the brinks is like also timing. This is maybe on the brinks as in brinks of the new year as well, like towards the end of December, mid end December uh, and the new year. Something, some energy is coming as a great surprise that will shift this energy for you and bring a lot of stability, energy of renewal. And it is going to literally cr make you cry. You will be shedding a tear. And as you can see, a huge, huge door is opening up for you. Like a new energy is allowing you to pass through, permitting you, because I heard permissible, permitting you now to experience a new, a new way of living that you ha didn't have access to before. And as opposed to being stuck with a Ten of Swords, like you feeling like you can't move or you're too tired to move. Now I see you with the fire horse full of vitality, full of energy. And I see running as opposed to barely making it. Something is interesting with this polka dot begonia, benonia, not sure. Um, I see that, do you see, it says the leaves had have this red color on the other side, the striking red undersides. So I can't help but think that this opportunity is arising to you due to this difficulty. So if you look back in retrospect, you will actually thank yourself or thank life how things uh, turned out the way they were because had you not gone through this you wouldn't have gotten this opportunity that is shifting your life dramatically uh, to shifting your life dramatically to a dream towards a huge dream mind you and you can see with the justice card like a shift of energy karma major uh, destiny decision happening speaking of destiny and your reading do you know that i heard uh, do you know about this information i heard it from someone in one of the podcasts I, I i was listening to someone was saying destiny is a free choice of your higher self how interesting right so we might go oh fate all oh, this fate all oh, this destiny I didn't make these choices. Why am I here? <laughs> why, why am I living this life? I, I wouldn't make these choices. But you'd be surprised to see if you look, if you look from a higher perspective, like your, your, your higher self, maybe you would have chosen exactly the same thing. Think about it this way. Like that's what the plant here is reminding me. If when we were children, right? And if we were asked... Uh, would you go to school? I would never be stupid enough to make a decision <laughs> of going to school. Like, what? I made this decision? Definitely not. The, I'm suffering through this. I don't want to wake up in the morning. I hate these stupid homeworks. I don't want to be listening to boring teachers all day. Definitely not the decision <laughs> that I would be making, right? And in fact, guys, I do have a story to tell you about this this specific situation since we're talking about school i actually cried to my father once when i was a little girl i cried and i said i don't want to go to school i want to wake up speaking of that when i want to and i want to just watch my cartoons and i want to have the, my favorite breakfast and i can't take this anymore i don't want to go to school and my father said 
You're not forced to go to school. If you don't go to school, you're not going to be educated and nobody can force you to go to school. If you don't want to go to school, then you're not going to school. And I said, yeah, right. And he said, really, if you don't want to go to school, you're not going to go. To, it is your it is your life. So I said, no, I don't want to go to school. And he said, fine, don't go to school. Tomorrow morning, I'm waking your brother up and I'm not waking you up. Okay, guys, <laughs> when it was like totally up to me, like 100% up to me, I started like questioning, do I really not want to go to school? Like, do I not want to be educated? <laughs> do I like, like, is everyone around me going to be educated? And I wasn't going to be educated, like my friends going to be educated. And I was like, started questioning my, my decisions. And of course, my dad, by the way, disclaimer was not going to do that. I, my dad just knew I like to be convinced of what I'm doing. They were definitely going to, uh, it's like this thing they were doing. So they didn't wake me up the next day. My brother went to school and I woke up and I had my breakfast and I was watching my cartoons and I panicked and I was like, oh my God, is this really happening to me? Am I not going to go to school? Oh my God, I think I just made a horrible decision and today we were going to do this and that in class. And I started going back in retrospect, absolutely regretting what I said. And I started telling my mom, I think I made the wrong decision. My mom was laughing. And she's like, tell your dad about it. And when my dad came back, I was like, uh, uh, I, I, I would like to go to school now. So <laughs> they were laughing about it. And now I realized that going to school was definitely the right thing for me, although I would have hated it as a child. And my parents were definitely, um, they never forced us into anything. They, they never were like, you have to do this, you have to do that. Everything, including the homeworks, everything that we had to do in life was about choice, making choices. And there were a lot of discussions in everything. If you don't do that, these are the consequences. And if you do that, these are the consequences. Uh, if you do not help out in the collective cleaning of the house, then you will not be part of the collective outing of the house. And so on. It was, uh, I don't want to get into this whole tangent. I just remembered from a personal experience of what it means to go through something that you think is awful, but on the bright, on the bright side, you may have been the one at, or your higher self that has chosen this difficult situation uh, because you were learning something significant from it. And that's what I'm seeing here. You will see in this next phase of your life or what you need to hear right now is that this difficulty or this bullying that you were going through, whatever types of difficulties and types of bullying you were going through, they were definitely teaching you something great. And I do see with a gesture here of the Ace of Swords, that's it, enough of this energy. Uh, this soul has learned exactly what it is, uh, was meant to learn. And now we are opening up a new portal for this soul to move into uh, another world. So an awesome new random, but it's not random, offer is coming for you that will help you f feel stable. It will help you heal your root chakra specifically. And I don't know when I looked at that, I, okay, I'll get back to it in a moment. I don't want to cut off my idea and it will help open up a new gateway of opportunity for you. I think this would be speaking about this opportunity. So I do see a clear transition, a very happy and prosperous one. I see you moving up in balance now in your life and maybe even traveling, air traveling specifically with this specific chariot. So I also see you becoming a very strong person. I do see you, you will realize how this experience ha has made you a very strong person. So a definite transition is happening here and I do see you resting greatly, resting and healing from whatever is happening at your in your life at the moment. So let's talk about this gateway that you are traveling to, this awesome uh, gateway that is opening up for you. This is 
a great promise and you are give it, being given access to some, to some big energy, something huge. Not having this energy would make it a dream. Like if you don't have that energy, it would be like, wow, um, what if I become a world renowned writer one day? Or what if I become this huge business person one day that does all of these things or I get that position, whatever that is, that dream is. Now that the doors are opening up for you, you're going to start realizing the magnitude of what you have wished. <laughs> and you're going to go, whoa, this is going to be a big way. Almost to a point of tiny bit of intimidation where you're like, ah, wow. Now that I've wished for that and I'm entering this doorway, it looks like I have a lot to do or a lot to learn or a lot to go through. But I do see you very, very um, open for it. And although it seems intimidating, you are not intimidated and you're more than ready to go right. So this is the plan. This is how long it's going to take. Let's start running then. Let's start taking the steps. So you're very motivated. I do see you moving into, because this is centering your reading here, into your strategy mode up next in your life. Uh, you are appreciating this great opportunity that came up for you. You're, you're filled with gratitude and you're treating it with so much respect and so much awe. And you're like, right, I'm going to handle this responsibly. This is my dream. Let me see how I can do it right uh, and not make it feel intimidating. So you're taking these steps. You're walking towards this huge opportunity and you're not afraid. And I do see you making serious steps and changes and strategies to adapt to this uh, intimate, what seems intimidating, almost to a point with the King of Swords, where you're going to feel like you got this, you got this so much that it would be pretty impressive for anyone taking on a new opportunity or role like this. And you're going to handle it like a boss or someone who is ha has years of experience in a field although you're, you're about to just step into it. I see you communicating uh, in this new chapter of your life like a leader. And I see you so fitting in to this intimidating um, opportunity. As if you've been there. That's what I keep getting from your cards. As if you've been with these experts all along. You know, maybe even like... Uh, reading so well and planning so well that you might even be guiding others as you just jump into it. I see you taking on a leadership role somehow. Hmm. Which is not surprising. I have seen this before. I've seen people like leading others uh, in something that they may not have done before with other leadership skills that they have. So yeah, I'm not surprised to see this in your reading. Mm. I do see you not being afraid. You've got a lot to carry, a lot to do. But to you, it's light. You're like, that's okay. I'm going to balance it like this. I'm going to walk slowly. I'm going to take one step at a time and it's going to work out. People looking at you from afar will go, how is this person balancing these things? You've got all these strategies in your mind and you're like, uh, I'll put it on my shoulders the correct way. I'll make sure they're balanced on both sides. I'll be focusing on this balance as I'm walking. As, and as I'm focusing on this, I will be taking one step as I touch the stairs and know where they end. And so now I know I'm on a new step. And you have all these strategies. I'm just giving you examples. You have all these strategies on your mind on how to walk through it gracefully. And you're going up gracefully, moving towards this intimidating new doorway, doing it so well that in a blink of an eye, you'll find yourself right up there where it would take 
others may be years or something, or however long this is that we're talking about. Maybe it would take others like lifetimes or years or whatever. I do see it for you, it will be a, like a couple of, not a couple, but several uh, steps away as you go through them gracefully. You'll find yourself quickly at the top. And so what has happened to you and what is happening to you now, both are decisions, in my opinion, that you have made or your higher self has done. Uh, and it was to show you the different sides of life and it was teaching you something significant and, and it was helping you make these choices that you are making today that maybe you wouldn't have made had you not seen what you have seen and understood more about life as you've gone through these different experiences. They were vital to what you're about to embark on. Maybe it is these experiences and this gratitude and your will and everything else uh, that happened as a result to th of the past that are that is today or soon in your future as you get into this new opportunity that is allowing you to go super gracefully and super strategically on this new path. This is an important wish and I see that you were in some form of great preparation for this wish to come true for you now. And my dear pile number two, this was your reading. I cannot express to you how personally I'm awestruck by your reading. Uh, it is full of detail about this awesome story of what you have gone through and what you're about to embark onto. I wish you all the best of luck with that. May you always be successful, strong, which you will be, happy and uh, on well on your spiritual growth, growth journey. I wish you prosperity, success and happiness. This was your reading, my dear pile number two. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And please don't forget to check out my productivity e-cookbook. It has 210 recipes that are healthy, delicious, and are cooked in a matter of minutes, giving you the rest of the day to do what is important for you. Uh, I did partner with a nutritionist that I really love and believe in to be able to bring out this e-cookbook for you. I was very passionate about it. I wanted to help you guys out in being able to manage your day and do the, all the important things, including your break time and personal time, all while being able to eat healthy and delicious food. And this is what the book is providing for you guys. If you're vegan, there is a vegan version. If not, you can even make use of both e-books. There are no duplicate recipes, and this way you'll have a plethora of healthy and delicious meals to choose from, maybe even for the rest of your life. And if you're interested in checking it out or reading more information about it, there's definitely on the website more information about what's included in the book, how to navigate through it, everything. And if you're interested in checking it out, you'll find a link to it down in the description box. And my dear pal number two, Thank you so much for tuning in, sending you so much love and gratitude and huge hopes of big luck on this awesome new journey that you are embarking on. Good luck, guys, sending you love, and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful golden new mite. And today we're taking a look at what you need to hear right now. It is an open reading where we're not putting any like intentions of any sort of topics. Uh, and we'll see what's come, what, what will come in for you. What do you need to hear right now? And to do this reading, these are the oracle cards that we will be using. I feel like these two have popped out. So I'm going to take it. And if you've chosen your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this reading are Leo, Aries, Scorpio, and Pisces. Welcome guys to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, please do not worry about it. And do note they are present in your reading because their energies will be matching the energy of your reading itself. And 
just like every detail in your reading, not everything um, that comes up, any specific details that come up, they don't have to be exactly um, pertaining to you. Like when we say, oh, this specific thing might be happening to this person or that. So follow your intuition and um, consider it extra details. They might resonate with you. They might not. Um, and don't worry about it. Okay, so first, let's take a look at your oracle cards. You have men, uh, metal dragon, the metal dragon. This is the Chinese elements, this is why. It says, waking the warrior within. All right. And I do see the I Ching here. This is water and uh, earth water and heaven sorry water and heaven i will be checking your itching for it water and heaven i will do that all right let's keep it right there and you have fire monkey with time to embrace change lovely okay let's now take a look at the rest of your cards you have soldier looks like these soldiers have won over something and now they're putting the flag they're placing the flag. You have the sacral chakra with self-worth. Lovely. And you have uh, the four of hearts is in tarot, the four of cups. So we'll put that into consideration. You have elephant ear as your plant. And it says, originated from the tropical rainforests of Asia, uh, likes indirect light and consistent watering. Lovely. Okay. I'm getting ideas, but I'm going to wait. Okay. So now it's time for your tarot cards. Let's pull out your tarot cards and see what it is that you need to hear right now. This way we will understand what your oracle cards are trying to show us. So what do you need to hear right now, my dear pile number three? Oh, and I feel this one as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And that one. Okay. <laughs> We're going to take them. Right. These are a lot of cards. Let's see what you need to hear right now. So. You have the King of Swords. This is a major deal here, for sure. With the Hierophant and the King of Swords. I feel like it's also a major deal because of the soldier energy. You're overcoming something major in your life, it seems to me. And like a challenge that used to um, cause a lot of trouble for you. And I do see you are on the brinks of like taking your rights back or protecting yourself or overcoming this huge challenge, putting you at a great place, maybe even in front of yourself. It doesn't have to be like a big position at work. It could definitely be, but I do see that is to, for you, it's, you're going to see yourself in such a strong light and you have the Queen of Swords. Look at that. Wow. Talk about strength and power. There's no question about that. I'm so proud of you, pile number three. I don't know what your challenge is. I don't know what you're doing, but I can tell you that you've done something major here and you are on the brinks of winning something. You must have like worked very hard and that last thing that you're going to do um, that will make it all... Uh, seem like a win it is a win of course but I mean it's not that last thing that made it a win it's all of the collective effort that you've put in in the past you have the ten of cups loving your cards this is big energy you have the world card and you can see the hierophant in the world card this is so cool sorry not the hierophant I wanted to say the hanged man in the world card you have wow the wheel of fortune so cool <laughs> okay you have the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Wands, 
You have the King of Wands. Mm. You're going to feel very powerful coming next. Again, a, a powerful com combination. King of Wands, super powerful. One of the powerful, powerful archetypes of tarot. And you have the Hierophant. Again, one of the strongest archetypes in tarot. Look at all this power going on here. And you have the Eight of Swords. Right. Eight of Swords in conjunction to the Hanged Man makes me understand a lot about your situation. But before we go ahead and read, I think there's another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there's another round for sure. We're going to read these and then you're meant to hear another message. So stick around for that. Okay, so like I've mentioned with the Wheel of Fortune, things are changing in a drastic way. First of all, internally, and it's going to show up externally as within so without which is the uh, message that is in common with the hierophant and the magician so there's no question here that you're changing something powerful within you and uh, that is resulting in a major change on the outside for you i see with the queen of cups and the strength figure that you have succeeded in getting a grasp at how you feel emotionally towards something like you're not letting your emotions drive you is what I'm trying to say but you're the one who's in control here and that is also signified by the nine of wands in the background of the nine of pentacles you see the nine of pentacles has achieved something they're living in this dream world of theirs or the world that they love it because they have created it Nine of Wands is confidence and perseverance and standing there strong. So there's no question here that your reading is talking about how you're on the brinks of making that final step that will allow you to create the world that you want, to see yourself in the light that you want. It will prove to you your power. You're going to be sitting on a new throne for sure. I see a change of cycle where, as before, you felt like you were sacrificed. You couldn't do anything. You felt powerless, maybe. And with the world card, this chapter of your life is absolutely ending. Just like the, so the soldiers here, they felt like they were sacrificed. They, were, they felt like their country, maybe, or their place was under a threat. And now they've just ended that, right? So that's what I see here for you. I see other people waiting for you, just like a warrior, a great soldier, waiting for you to come home and clap and say, wow, you've done a great job. You've protected yourself and you've protected us. <laughs> so take that how it resonates. But I do see whether you have others waiting for you to celebrate that or not, uh, which is definitely a strong part of your reading. I, or maybe these are your guides. Maybe you have your guides watching from the other world going, pile number three has done it. <laughs> and they are very proud of you, perhaps celebrating in the other world what you're about to do now. What I do see is with the eight of swords uh, is that something was keeping you stuck, right? Uh, and it was keeping you stuck because of how you thought about it swords are the mindset and you were sacrificing yourself that's the uh, hanged man right that's the sword down right you were sacri sacrificing yourself for someone for others for a situation that's no longer going to happen here how are these big changes happening maybe these what these are what the cards are showing you here so we already know what your reading is trying to say consistent watering this means whatever you're doing right now don't stop continue whoops to water it because it will shift your situation just like uh, the table move now your situation is about to shift right now you're on the brinks of it you're winning you're already winning so continue to water the plants aka do what is needed don't stop Continue to do what is needed, continue to focus and 
things will be moving very relatively fast for you because this is the background of the eight of wands. So expect a lot of communication, expect quick movement forward happening to you these days and expect to see yourself in such a huge power. Look at that. This is exaggerated. Like you are going to feel uh, this moment power, 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 power uh, at a moment where you're going to feel like, hey, I've got the great power. Did I not know that? Um, yeah, I paused because along with that, I think the reading now is shifting us to something else. That's why you have these cards. Look at that. This monkey, this fire monkey is, is on the precipice of change, a fork on the road. Your life is changing as we're speaking now. So up next, if especially if you've been seeing 333 three, three, or you've been seeing a lot of threes lately or will be seeing a lot of threes lately, do note that they are talking about some huge shift, a great shift happening in your life. Let's explore what this shift is. Maybe because I remembered Asia all of a sudden, maybe some of you are moving to Asia. Very specific, but I had to mention it since uh, I remembered Asia as we were taking a look at that. And you do have the world card. Maybe you will be moving worlds, but too specific again. It doesn't have to be that. Um, mm. Oh, before we take a look at this major shift, we did see, we did see the he uh, I Ching hexagram with the heaven and the water. Let me check and read it out actually for you. I'll go get it and let's see what your message is before we take a look at this fork in your road. Okay, so uh, this is not water. Of course, what was I thinking? Uh, this is earth and heaven, right? So you have earth and heaven with harmony, balance. How awesome. So it says you are reaching and going beyond yourself. Do you see that? <laughs> this is progressive. This is good. I told you guys. You are willing to take risks for others. I did see an element of doing it for others as well. Yourself mainly. But I do see that others will be thanking you as well. But anyways, you are willing to take risks for others. Even if it might mean losing your own position. You negotiate. Ah, I think this is talking about in your reading what you used to do as opposed to now what you're going to do. So even if it might mean losing your own position, you negotiate a compromise and observe temperance. You won't regret your decision. Act according to temperance and prosperity shall be attained. The intercourse. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? I have another detail in your reading after having read that. You know how when you shift the power, right? And now that you're, you've shown your power, the other side can start saying, okay, I, uh, there is equal power here. Let's negotiate, you know, so that we can both um, reach a mutual ground where none of us loses much. And it's always better than war, right? Where the other position shows their power and then the country attacking would say, okay, okay, let's not uh, do that. How about we discuss things, right? So I think that's what's happening here for you. You're showing that's a great, maybe that's why there is a shift in the road. So maybe you're showing how big your power is that things are going to start shifting for you where, where others or someone or whatever this is, uh, is going to recognize your power. You're going to recognize your power. And some negotiations are going to start happening between the two of you. I think others here are maybe going to benefit from this negotiation that you are doing. For some of you. Okay, so, or maybe this is just talking about how you mutually going to uh, benefit from this situation. Really cool. Let's get more information about this fork in the road for you and how your uh, road is shifting. 
So, do you see that? The three of pentacles. Instead of fighting over one, we're going to like make sure we're all happy kind of situation here. Okay? You have the ten of wands leading to the ten of cups. This is like a card going from something totally heavy to ultimate happiness. The opposite energy. Going from bearing so much almost to a point of breakdown. Ten of wands is like an end of a bad cycle to the Ten of Cups with, the, with this ultimate happiness. So nice. So whatever it is that you've been experiencing before in this situation that we see for you in this reading, you're going to move maybe in a day, maybe in midday. Like you woke up feeling this heavy that you've been carrying for so long. Anyways, by midday, you go home and you're like, got this, my life has changed, let's party. <laughs> Okay, so you've got the Nine of Swords. You have the Star card. The Nine of Pentacles. Again, do you see? Going from absolute stress. I don't know why I said midday. The, totally like channeled. But you have the Nine of Swords going from in one day. Waking up stressed. Going back home. Going, you know. <laughs> You have the Knight of Pentacles. You've got the Ten of Pentacles. Again, do you see that? Ten of Swords is just like the Ten of Wands. Feeling beaten down, feeling in pain, not being able to move. To the opposite energy of being absolutely abundant and prosperous. Almost to a point where you can't breathe and believe it. <laughs> do you see? And... You have the three of cups. No one is bearing the pain. Everyone's now sharing the situation. It's very clear. Your reading is very clear. I don't know what this is, but this energy was teaching you to see yourself for who you are, to see your power, and you will be surprised at how things change dramatically for you as you take control of this power and go, no, 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 no more. That's not happening for me. I'm not accepting this. And as you go, no, oh, how did we miss that? Guys, guys, you will be shocked. This is the Nine of Swords, and this is the background of the Nine of Cups. At this point, you're not going to believe it. Nine of Swords, again, is being stressed, anxiety, not knowing what to do. Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment card. Do you see what type of cards are showing up for you? <laughs> oh, also, mind you, the Knight, of, Knight, the Knight of Pentacles here has the chariot. And these are two opposite energies of, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is slow moving. The chariot is fast. So again, this dichotomy of energy of going from really bad to really good is definitely apparent in your reading. Another energy is just like we saw with the negotiation in your I Ching, which is definitely was a very important part of your reading. Showing because of now you seeing your worth, others seeing your worth as you saw it, uh, as you showed yourself this power and others have seen your power, you're like, right. Uh, I think they're like, right, we need to negotiate this. And look at this. This is called elephant ear. So it's like, the, you know, the elephant ear is so big. Now they're listening. Now they're like, I'm all ears. What do you want? Hey, tell me what you want. I'll give it to you. So this is healing. Your dreams coming true. Uh, peep, the, the, the opposite. Oh, 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 um, no. What do we call the person? Oh, oppressor. The oppressor now has full ears sitting down on the same table, fully respecting the power that you have. And they're like, Hey, let's, I'm, I'm all ears. What do you want? I'm here to uh, share it. I'm here. I'm here to help. I'm here to, yeah, you'll be so surprised with how this person or this organization or whatever this situation is, you'll be surprised at how they're team working with you, how they're like caring for you all of a sudden, how they're sharing your pains <laughs> and sharing uh, uh, the pie as if they're like team players. 
you'll be sure you you you'll really be surprised you're going yeah right now you're doing that <laughs> i know better but good i'm happy now we're all doing the right thing and that the energy has come into balance and now we can understand what this shift in your path is you were moving on a path where you were sacrificing yourself and things were difficult now you're moving on a path with power you know what to do and so how you experience your life how you experience uh, your communication with this other person or thing is uh, like organization or whatever is changing and because of that your whole world is shifting and changing and it was almost like the universe was pushing down that lesson on you so that you can finally see what your true power is who you are so that the whole world can see it as well with you and now that you've seen it now that you're in touch with this power no one can take it back from you bye bye and your whole world is shifting you've learned the lesson congratulations my dear pile number three this energy that's coming up for you will blow your mind and when when your mind is blown your mind is blown because of what you have done and not how your world has changed this was your reading my dear pile number three congratulations i'm so proud of you beforehand <laughs> this was your reading if you've enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that i upload and please don't forget to check out my productivity e-cookbook it has 210 recipes that are healthy delicious and are cooked in a matter of minutes giving you the rest of the day to do what is important for you this is why i was so passionate about this equal book i wanted to help you out in this area and to do this i partnered with a nutritionist last year that i really love and believe in to be able to bring out this equal book for you if you're vegan there's a vegan version if not you can make use of both ebooks there are no duplicate recipes and this way you'll have a plethora of healthy and delicious meals to choose from maybe even for the rest of your life. And if you're interested in checking it out, you'll find a link to it down in the description box. And my dear pile number three, thank you so much for tuning in, wishing you the best in your life. I'm My heart is full of gratitude and having you around as a sole member, member in this uh, channel. Thank you so much and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye! Love you guys. <laughs>